forming the Buddha Nation through dedicated to dedication to education. So this is a videos in from India. 灵鹫山位于印度王舍城，是重要的佛陀说法之地。So this is a location uh has a significant uh historical meaning because it's where um Buddha has this from Dharma, and it looks like it looks like a um eagle. So. So they have walked up to the mountain and to show their sincerity and their respect. And the Singapore um, volunteer, Mr. Wu, um, sharing that they it has a inspiring to be able to close to where. Thousand years ago, the Buddha expounded Dharma, and then they really helped them to、um, get close, feel that they are closer to Dharma. So, then Brother Su, Ah、uh, Su Shibong,、um, as is sharing that twenty five years, twenty five hundred years ago,、um, they have seen a lot of.、Um, Homeless people and beggars on the street, and then it was kind of like what they used to like in 2,500 years ago. So he said, we need a lot of energy and power and well power to to、um, make better of this.、Um, Make this place a better place. So there are ten school, uh, well, ten elementary school and middle school super superintendent from Lambini, um, gather together to uh have a meeting about how to improve the children's um education um environment and also their livelihood. So she's saying that with all the aid that. So you provide a lot of students can actually、um, attend school, so and they can catch up with the education they lag behind. So that's something、um, they're very happy to see. So we're really grateful for the team from Singapore and Malaysia to be so dedicated in this、um, effort to from to have children to come to、uh, school. So there is a teachers' union from Sujin, and then it started in Taiwan, and they have been、um, doing a lot of exchange、um, in with different countries. So, but sometimes, but like, because in Taiwan's、um, unions, a teachers' union has a difficult time to reach out to countries like Nepal or India. But Malaysia and Singapore, they they have the ability to cross that language barrier. So they they were the the main、um, team to、um, to bring aid and then to bring hope to the students over there. So in the politics, the only、uh, only over two thirds of students in the school were able were not able to. Um, finish high school years, so that's something that we really want to change. And now, please welcome Mr. Su,、uh, the CEO of City Global and Center Malaysia. Hello, hello, brother Su. Please go for. <laughs> 很 great grateful to be here. Ah,、uh, Open Master, Master Chen, Open Master, and everyone on the internet. Good morning. I'm so grateful to have this、um, opportunity to share with you guys. Master Chen has continued to remind us to drink more water and stay hydrated. 
跟花莲纪事金社是同一个维度。So where I am located is、uh, the same latitude with Jinsa Boat, and the weather is really hot, and the highest temperature will go up to forty-four degrees Celsius. And so, staying hydrated is very、uh, important. So to pay our respect and our show our gratitude to Buddha, as teaching, so we we want to like help the Buddha's、um, hometown to、um, to have a better、um, situation. So they kind of want to improve the livelihood here and improve the、uh, education. Um, opportunities. So it is a heavy burden on the education team. So we are really、um, struggle to see how we can actually achieve that achieve that goal. Before I start. I will let you let everyone know, understand the environment and、uh, the condition that we're facing in the places in Lambini. A lot of students don't have shoes, and a lot of them、uh, and they don't have to wear、um, one shoes like one can have only pay one shoe for the pair. So a lot of children's hands. Cold injury, injury. So we go to the scene to watch. These children, in the summer, are wearing a uniform. Even in during winter time, they have only one layer of uniform to wear. So, so they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. So, they have to wear three layers of uniform to wear. Figured out how to care for the children, and this is the winter time when they are sitting outside, use outside as um the study places. So so the. So, so their、um, lunch, a、uh, school lunch, is basically just oatmeal、uh, with a lot of water, and children they they don't really have the utensil for to to eat, so they use leaves as as their utensil. And then, so they can have to put their ball on the floor. And we're we're just um, it brought us sorrow to watch those kids living in this kind of condition. And you can, as you can see, majority of children don't have uniform. And some of the family that when the parents have to work and they don't have babysitters, so they 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 even have to bring their、um, brother, sister, sibling to the school. So their first grade classroom and one classroom they have eighty students. So this is the、uh, one. The left side is the high school. The right side is elementary school.、Um, that's the picture that they took together. In a school like the dropout rate is really really high. So where they started,、um, one thing is humanistic education. So they starting to、uh, incorporate things in Abramus and into. Their daily task, like the living,、uh, dressing, dress, dressing, and eating and walking. So we start the edu education program with things is visible to people. So fun to correct, well, not correct, but to to adjust their behaviors. So this is a team that participate.
in the, the first uh, distribution. So, so there are different way, uh, different stage to um, go into the, the local resident's home and then to uh, plant the seeds of humanistic culture. And so on the right side and the, the before and then the right left side is the after, the when they after they were able to distribute a lot of uniforms. So you can see like a little bit differences. And then this is the uh, humanistic culture that we're trying to present. And so the two girls, the boys and girls, they came to school with barefoot and then they had shoes, they were able to wear shoes to go home. And the, the superintendent was even like trying to um, line out the shoes himself. So, before that, you have seen that the kids have to use leaf as their utensil and sometimes use play uh, papers as their book plate. So that is something that we wanted to um, inspire and to adjust their behavior to able to use to eat properly. So a lot of children were able to learn how to use spoon and the proper utensil for, for, for eating. Uh, the student, uh, they have the tea offering ceremony, so she feels so honored because he, she is the only one has that honor to offer tea to their principal. So she has seen that the school has changed after Suji came over. Um, like even when there's even the, the principal when they see the school's dirty he will help to clean when they see the shoes is over places he will line those shoes together so so they have seen that the principal has to lead by example and then to to teach the kids and the proper attitude and they also has organized a um, sports event for all school, uh, so all students to participate. And they have organized a event where children will wash their parents' uh, feet um, to show how they appreciate their parents' effort to care for them. And in one of the school, they have to uh, promote the idea of the rice bucket, meaning that they have people to uh, collect rice from their daily meal to or to do donate to the last fortunate people, and they have incorporated Jinsa Affirmation in in their school. <laughs> And then they have they have um, taught the happy face <laughs> at the school, and then so you can see a lot of children are much much happier, and then they have really beautiful smile. So so they have become their signature thing to enter the school. Every time when they go to school, they just have to do a happy face um, then, um, gestures to um, show how happy they are. So the, so the this is like the case like the the notes and then just one of the kids said that Jinsamberson is not something we just post on the wall, but it's something we need to implement in our daily lives. So the teachers union um, has planned a lot of seeds and and they have recruit like local teachers to join the union and then to uh, also have the school principal and teachers to participate in city events like the charity events, uh, volunteer training, um, book study, and all that stuff. 
when I meet the Chuji brothers and sister, then my inner feeling, my heart uh, uh, divert uh, more uh, to how to um, how I can spend more time to uh, the poor people. Chuji volunteers, I think, very uh, humility people. Uh, they uh, their commitment. I you said that I can spend more time yeah, to. The, well, less fortunate. I'm really inspired when I see how sincere Suji volunteers to serve other people. And this has crossed religion and, and the barrier of religion. And I feel like what I got is more worth more than just gold. And I only know Suji for three months. But I feel like I have known Suji for so long impressed me because their uh, even and their behaviors have impacted me very so thank you brother Chifon for thanks that we have a uh, limited time so <laughs> if we have more time so this is really thank you um so have we please uh give a round of applause for the our well, volunteer teams in singapore and malaysia so, so have you noticed like Master Chen Yan had, had really uh, do the, the, the happy face kind of the, the move, but now Master Chen has done that too, so we're, we have a lot to learn from um, the teachers unit. Oh. So, uh, from the feedback, so the feedback uh, was showing that uh, back in when when the brother had brought back teachers to the Tiji University and uh, they were commending them on extending the education. Um, and we're very grateful for the Singapore Malaysian volunteers and how down to earth they are and wholeheartedly devoted to the missions and and direction that Master has pointed to them. And from the his sharing, we can see it is clearly evident that whether it is whether it, it is charity or education, Siji has never seized the, the impact in the local area. So and whenever people ask them if they're going back to coming back to Taiwan, um, they, they're saying that now that besides going to Taiwan, they have another mission, which is going to Nepal. And so let's give them a round of applause and share of our gratitude to them. Um, they're, they will soon hit 44 degrees Celsius during the day. So we really wish them to take care of themselves. It's kind of hard to imagine how hot it gets in 44.